Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace the carbon brushes on this Hoover washing machine. Now, if your washing machine fills and empties correctly, and there is no drum movement, or if the drum moves, there is a crackling noise, and in some machines, if there is an error code indicating a fault with the motor, then it is easy to access the carbon brushes and replace if necessary. Now, first things first, Always make sure you unplug the appliance before starting any work. The first thing I need to do is to remove the back panel to access the motor. Now that's removed, you can see the motor here. Take off the drive belt. Unplug the motor plug and the earth connector. And carefully unscrew the two motor mounting bolts. On most machines, the motor is attached to the drum by the motor mounting pegs. Now it can be quite difficult to get the motor off these pegs, so do be careful. A good idea is to use a flat headed screwdriver to ease the motor away. I've moved around to here just to be able to take the weight of the motor comfortably. Once it's off the mounting pegs, I can either leave it at the bottom of the machine, lean the machine back and take it out from the bottom, or if there's enough space at the back, simply take it out through there. Here we have the two carbon brushes, here and here. You can actually see how black the commutator is. You can see that these brushes have been burning and need replacing. Very easy to do. Remove the connection and undo these two Torx head screws here. And here we have the old carbon brush with the carbon barely outside the holder. And here is a new carbon brush with a nice length of carbon there. Now it may be the case that when you purchase your new carbon brush, the carbon is actually inside the holder. So using a screwdriver, just pop the spring-loaded mechanism, making sure that the carbon is extended before fitting. Now before I go ahead and fit that, I'm just going to give this commutator a clean using a scourer or a piece of abrasive paper. Just turn the motor spindle into the scourer. And keep turning until it's nice and clean. You'll notice that the tip of the carbon brush is angled, so it's important that you fit it the same way that your old carbon brushes came off. A good way to do this is to push the tip against the commutator squarely and then using the locating pegs underneath, angle it so that they fall into position. You're then free to screw it back together. Reconnect the electrical connector. And then repeat for the other side. Reconnect the electrical connector. And then you can put your motor back in your machine. The motor is attached to the drum at three points. Two motor mounting pillars at the front and one at the rear. And these correspond with the motor mounting loops on the motor itself. You can then re-screw the motor mounting bolts then reattach the electrical connectors. And then the drive belt. And then reattach the back panel. So there we have it, 
new brushes fitted to this Hoover washing machine. Now the motor may make a bit of noise after the brushes have been fitted, but that's just them bedding in. It's perfectly normal. Carbon brushes for all makes of model of washing machine can be found on the eSpares.co.uk website. Thanks for watching.